Virgos, welcome to my channel, Ortiz Apple Tree. We're asking Spirit to show you what you need to see, what you need to hear, what you need to know. Okay, all right, we have here the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are really working hard, like paying attention to detail. Money, 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 money. Money. We have here also, okay, yeah, money, okay. Page of Pentacles. There's another, look at that coin. Like some of you got the raise that you wanted. Like you're in going back to school. Some of you are going back to school. Some of you are really um, standing on business. <laughs> some of you are um, independent. I-N-D-E-E. -E. Yeah, you're independent. That song, I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that means? Okay, because we have nine of pentacles. And I like doing math in my readings. Because to me, math is very um, spiritual. And with the page of pentacles here, it's like some of you, this is good news in regards to a grant. Some of you, this is good news in regards to a promotion, a job. Good news in regards to a raise, a transfer. Good news in regards to putting in groundwork to achieve success, setting goals, deciding what you want and going for it. I feel like if you worked with group or team or something, you're going to be working more alone. Um, this is working inside in the AC. Or you could be outside because this guy is working outside too. I just feel like this is opportunities available to you. Grab them with both hands. Look at this guy. He's holding the money with both hands grab the opportunities with both hands some of you are seeking further education or you've already enrolled in a course or you're going to excel at it if you put your effort in i just feel like good news financially um, rewards for hard work we got work and we have good news because the pages are like messages text messages emails DMs, you know, it's it's just something that is worth investing in, which is yourself. I feel like you're putting things in place to secure your financial future as well. If you're looking to buying a house or property or you're waiting to see if an, there's an offer on a property, it's going to be accepted. Things should go well. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow, y'all got so much money. Can I have some? Can I borrow some? <laughs> things are going in your favor can i have some y'all can i have some of that money are y'all stingy are y'all scrooges are y'all giving and sharing i think you got to be giving in some kind of sense to be blessed like this you know you have to give in order to receive whether that's in giving anything wow some of you are having this financial new beginning wow we have death in reverse New financial opportunities, new job, new business, money, investments, savings. This is abundance, stability, something you manifested, something you invested in. And now it's like it could be stocks and bonds. This is amazing. This is the energy of a new beginning as well. How to buy and exchange traded funds or stocks. And it's just blew up overnight. I feel like for some of you, putting portions of your money into different types of investments has really, really helped you. Like, I know stocks and bonds, they each have like a different level of risk. But the key ingredients is your mutual funds. And stocks typically have like potential for higher returns compared with other types of investments over the long term. So there's some stocks pay dividends. And I feel like um, some stocks that pay dividends, it's like a cushion. It cushions a drop in share price and it provides extra income or it could be used to buy more shares. I just feel like bonds on the different side is like, you know, the cons to stocks could be where it could rise and fall dramatically. There's no guaranteed return, but there is a return here. You know what it feels like for it to have fallen, but I feel like there's a rise dramatically and there is a, a lot 
of a return here. Now with the pros of bonds, it's like bonds tend to rise and fall less dramatically than stocks. Their, their prices may fluctuate less, but certain bonds can provide a level of income stability. Some bonds, such as U.S. Treasuries, like that can provide stability and liquidity. Liquidity. I just feel like some of you, um, just the cons of bonds, it's like it's the it's provided lower long-term returns than stocks, and bond prices fall when interest rates go up. So long-term bonds, especially, they suffer from price fluctuations as interest rates rise and fall. But this investment is there's a rise. There's a great potential reward. The greater the risk, the, the higher the reward. And some of you have this opportunity for a higher long-term return. Some of you own like a mix of different investments. You have like a diversifying portfolio of your skills, your qualifications, your degrees. And I feel like that curbs the risk of putting all of your money into like they say one basket or one single type of investment. Um, the death here is in reverse with all of this. And I did mention about the fall and rise of the stocks and bonds, but um, in other aspects, I feel like this is like a total like money read. <laughs> um, don't be afraid of new beginnings, whether it be financially, career-wise, or in love. You know, um, now might be the time for a career change or a new direction. Um, because it's going to bring you even more money or this, this new beginning has a shift. Don't be afraid if you have to transfer or if you have to travel for work. I know you like the stability and the routine that your career brings you, even if you find it unfulfilling, which it's it's been it's been very fulfilling, maybe just a little boring routine. But if you've been engaging in like um behavior patterns that have stopped you from getting to where you want to be, it's now it's time to take time to figure out what needs to change in order to get you to this place of this ace of pentacles that is definitely in your near future. Rethink how you manage your finances because you're going to need to because you're going to have a lot. You have a lot. Some of you already know how to manage your finances, but it's a need to, um, you know, just because you have a lot doesn't mean you have to spend a lot. You know, you may have to rethink your spending habits and some of you don't want to change those spending habits, but you don't want to waste your money. It could, it could improve your ability to manage your finances so you don't want to resist changing the way you look at money, spend money, invest in money, and you don't want to gamble the money. You want to just basically, with all of this energy of money, work, pinnacles, stability, and security, you want to let go, and this, the death is in reverse, you want to let go of bad financial practices and be responsible with your money. Any hardships, I feel like that's just temporary. If you manage your money carefully, but I feel like there's an investment here. So we could be going back to school. Let's see, we have um, 10 of Pentacles here on the table. Wow, this is wild. 10 of Pentacles is here on the table, guys. This is beautiful energy. Like, if it ain't about the money, don't be hitting me up, right? If it ain't about the money, yeah, that's how you're feeling. You're like really business minded. Um, Ten of Pentacles, we got eight, nine, ten. So I feel like this is unexpected financial windfall. Some of you hitting the lottery? Like where does money come from? Okay, we did talk about stocks and bonds. I get it. Okay, yeah. But are you hitting the lottery at the local gas station that you did a scratch off on? I'm just saying there's a lump sum um, 
It could be a trust fund. This could be someone passing away and leaving you in the will, inheritance. This could be um, the family home you inherited or business responsibilities and contracts and pensions and long-term financial security and stability and and um security like no other it's like some of you are connected to financial or material success or there's something that's going to happen good things is going to happen in your life in regards to security money some of you could be um, finding yourself tracing your ancestry or discovering your family tree. You may be feeling very close to your family at this time or wanting to help family with some of this money or this money coming from family, tradition or inheritance. Feeling very stable. Life should be stable and settled. You have an opportunity for a new beginning at meeting someone younger that you can invest in. You can meet this person through work or through education, through school. This could be something that develops into a long-term security and stable relationship that's solid. That you're like, here, you can take all of my money. I like you for the, you know, for the guys. But I just feel like for some of you, if you're hoping for a deeper relationship or commitment, it's it's coming. You could be moving in together. Settling down, getting engaged, um, getting married. You could marry into a wealthy family or you are the wealthy family. This could be um, family values, tradition, um, buying a house, setting up pensions or, or making a will. If you're going through a rough patch, I just feel like you, this could be issues that are inherited or conflict arising in different backgrounds or family traditions or recognize the root cause of conflict and compromise to find a way to merge traditions or create new ones. I just feel like um, some of you are going to have a new love come into your life. Someone who can share um, values with you. Potentially it could be someone that you'll want to settle down with and have a long-term relationship with. But um, don't tell them about your money. Because you got money in the bank. Shorty, what you think? Don't tell them. Some of you are coming into a financial windfall, such as an inheritance or lump sum of money coming to you. You you won a lawsuit? <laughs> you sued somebody and won. You know what I'm saying? You could be setting up a trust fund. Some of you, this is just wealth, privilege, family riches, or old money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, wow, and your money has really grown over the years. The investment is like booming. You're so independent. There's financial stability, security, profit, prosperity. Some of you are looking to retire soon. I feel like uh, for some of you, um, it's you've worked very hard to create success and status that you're experiencing and that you're enjoying. And you want to indulge yourself, pamper yourself, ex enjoy the luxury and the contentment that you've accomplished. And I just feel like some of you are very beautiful, handsome, and grace and sophisticated. And you could find yourself wanting to enjoy or, or enjoying the finer things in life. Because I'm feeling like the strong, confident, independent woman or man that you are that's worked hard to get to where he or she is. And I just feel like you um, can offer someone great independence and support and help other people even pursue their dreams. I feel like if you're in business, you're building your career, um, you want a partner that's going to offer you support and encouragement. And you want someone that has similar goals and that also has a hard work um, energy. They work hard to achieve what they want as well. You want someone who has as well reached a point in their relationship in their life where they can stop and smell the roses and you can stop and smell the roses together. I think you just, you've, it's rewards of all the hard work you've put in over the years. Some of you are very independent, very single, very free, very mature. And I feel like um, if anyone who wants to start a relationship to you, with you, 
they will have to um, work hard to earn your respect and your affection and have to work because you've worked very hard to get to where you are. You're not going to allow anyone in your life who is not worthy of being there. Okay. Yep, you're not going to allow anyone in your life that's not worthy of being there. Virgos, I feel like for some of you, um, some of you could be pregnant or this could be a birth as well. But for some of you, I just feel like um, you're at a point in your career where you can enjoy the status of the level of success you've attained. If you are in business, you're reaching a point where the business is really thriving. Profits should be rolling in. You've worked really hard to get to where you are and now is the time to breathe it all in and enjoy it. Some of you are looking at retirement for the mature people. It's a time where you can finally take a step back and enjoy the fruits of your labor. If you've made investments, they could be maturing and it's time to collect them. Okay, like we talked about. But I just feel like a higher status of wealth is going to be coming to you. You could be also really actively searching for a property or buying a house. Or I feel like some of you are wanting to buy land. Just continue putting the work in and you're definitely going to reap the benefits. Some of you are trying to also improve your health, your lifestyle, your fitness. You're recovering from an illness or an injury. I just feel like some of you have really gained great insight and wisdom along your journey of abundance. Be sure to thank the universe, thank God, and those that have helped you along the way by paying it forward. Um, well, I mean, I just feel like I don't need to really talk about anything else. I feel like you got it going on. You know what I mean? You know, just make sure you stay open to change. The only thing guaranteed in life is change. You don't, you, as you never want to get too dependent on anything. Um, the only thing in life guaranteed is things will change. If you're unhappy with anything, you can start looking for a new thing. I just feel like for some of you, um, change is going to lead you somewhere positive and you're going to learn from it. You're going to have to make like adjustments and keep moving forward in a positive way. I feel like some of you may be getting back to the basics, swapping big nights out for cozy nights in with close friends or family or loved ones. Making necessary changes. Feeling empowered to make decisions to end what isn't working for you. When you think of the change that you're resisting, you know, ask yourself realistically, is it going to make you feel worse than staying in your current situation indefinitely? Or could it possibly lead you to something amazing? It could lead you to something amazing. Letting go of and letting God and letting the universe find a way to push you onto your life path in its own way. So you're not resisting change. You're not holding on to old negative energy. But moving forward. So that new energy can come into your life and give you new brighter beginnings with stability, with abundance. If you keep holding on to things that you should be letting go of, the universe finds a way to push you onto that love, onto that life path in its own way. So you don't want to resist change because that could really be distressing if you do. It's much better to just, um, just go with the flow so that forces don't jolt you into the flow. Um, but I feel like at least, you know, if you make a decision to let go of old situations, old situations, relationships, you're going to feel empowered to make better decisions in the end, to end what's 
what's not working for you to invest only in something that's worthy and valuable for your future. And it's going to lead to something amazing. So you can make more money alone. If you're in a relationship, it could be an indicator that, you know, you're resistant to a change in the relationship. Some of you may be holding on to a relationship that has long since run its course because you feel dependent or you know you, your person is dependent on you and the money you make. And so you know that your person could be terrified of loneliness or having to start over being alone. So you may be staying with a partner who you no longer love out of a sense of obligation. A relationship some of you thought was finished long ago. It could resurface and rekindle with this death in reverse. They could come back around wanting to propose, wanting to engage, wanting to marry, wanting to renew vows. For some of you, there's so many different options here because this is very general. Just keep working on you and not everything is about money. Not everything is about materialism. You want to keep a, a nice healthy balance of... Um, the yin and the yang, nurturing, caring, loving, you know, um, internal things that money can't buy and let go of any self-sabotaging behaviors. And I feel like if you're single, you know, um, building that self-confidence and esteem, because some of you, you have money, maybe you just don't have love. You don't have passion, but you do have money. Money can't buy everything. So to allow... Um, a partner in your life who will treat you with love and respect you want to have a healthy boundary and make time and space in your life for someone to come into your life so with that being said I just feel like um, for some of you even though you're making a lot of money and the money is growing and like we got a lot of little coins to one major coin to one huge coin. Like I feel like it's growing and you're going to have to rethink how you manage your finances. I just feel like I have to say that again. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Some of you could be really looking into eliminating debt. But you overspend out of habit. So you want to let go of bad financial practices and be responsible with your money. All right, so with that being said, I, I just feel like, um, I don't know if I should draw. I just feel like you're getting a wish granted in regards to a loan or a grant or any hardships that's going to be temporary because you're going to have the money. I'm going to be careful with the money. And um, just new beginnings definitely here with this beautiful Ace of Pentacles. Again, you can meet someone new through work or through business. And there's going to be like this sense of down to earth, this grounding influence that they're going to have with you. And I feel like some of you are just feeling very blessed and secure. Yeah, feeling very blessed and secure. You and your person or someone who you're going to meet are both independent and flourishing in your life and will be safe in the knowledge of knowing each other. And that you have the support of each other, a solid relationship. So I feel like it's going to be a sense of excitement about the next steps in your love life. The next chapter in your love life is going to lead into a beautiful, grounded relationship. Possibly, again, someone new through work or business. It doesn't have to be. But this could be someone who also is business-minded. Some of you, there could be a new job or a new business opportunity. So good news. Good news coming to you that's going to bring with it great financial rewards you're going to have opportunities for advancement fresh energy coming into your career into your love life it's a great time to consider investments good financial opportunities presenting themselves to you in the near future you can receive unexpected windfall or return of an investment so just make sure you put some of it away for a rainy day um you can cash at me as well <laughs> apple tree 80 thank you <laughs> make sure you put some of it away for a rainy day um and create like a plan for a long lasting financial security such as like starting a savings plan or a pension plan okay 
Um, but anything that's toxic, anything that could affect you, um, let it go. If it's drinking, if it's recreational drugs, if it's any self-sabotaging energies, just begin to try new health habits, implement new healthier lifestyle choices that will benefit you and your health for years to come that money can't buy, you know what I mean? Like a new workout routine or eating healthy or just improving your health, okay? And don't be afraid to experiment with different practices, like to bring fresh energy. I feel like um, Reiki, uh, meditation, drinking water, getting more rest, you know, spiritual pursuits as well. That will bring in that fresh energy where you can feel motivated and inspired to make more money. <laughs> All right, with that being said, um, money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Like, comment, share, and subscribe here at Ortiz Apple Tree. And until next time, keep making that money. Virgos, take care.